All right, all right, all right, all right, folks. Let's try this again. I've already had this conversation today with Cox. Hopefully, my shit doesn't drop again because I'm really looking forward to uh, reading some of this manga with you. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. So if you're if you're just checking this out, you didn't miss the four minute video I did just a minute ago. I want to read manga with you. So as a part of Edge Gaming, the Elijah Bailey Show, a little bit of anime, and just because I like doing this shit, I'm just going to read some manga with you. I'm not going to verbally read it. You're not going to get the voice acting today, but you are going to see what we're reading uh, full screen from Viz Media as, uh, as I go through a couple of titles that I want to read today that just came out. Let's go over those titles real quick. Black Clover, The Elusive Samurai. Uh, oh, I wonder if, uh, what's the name's out too? I Tell C, Jujutsu Kaisen, um, One Piece, Undead Unluck. Now, let's see. I don't see it on here. Maybe they moved it off for me. Now, a couple other titles, if you've been following me on social media that I watch and that I read, uh, Spy Family, Dragon Ball Super, but that doesn't come out to the 20th, Ghost Reaper Girl, um, and I don't see it up here, so let's go ahead and look for it. I'm pretty sure there's a new one. Oh, shit. Nine Dragons Ball Parade. Is there a new one that came out today? Yep. Okay, so I guess that's what we'll start today. So you won't see me. I want to give you guys a full screen so we can read these manga. But you will hear my voice from time to time mixed in with this music. I'm going to be drinking my coffee. I'm going to be reading these manga, talking to you. And maybe next time it'll be a little bit different. So let's go ahead and dive right into a uh, Nine Dragons Ball Parade. All right, so Nine Dragons Ball Parade is a baseball manga. Now, I really didn't think there would be a sports manga that would kept, capture me the same way the Ice Shield 21 did or Kuroko's Basketball. But then, you know, I'm just, a, I'm, 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 I'm a sports guy. I like sports manga, they're fun. I like how you can learn. And this has moved pretty much fast pace as far as putting the team together. And it's a ragtag team. It's kind of like Bad News Bears. They're all delinquents, but they have um, super, super duper skills. Um, and then uh, last chapter, the star and number one uh, baseball player who's a pitcher stopped by to check out the team because they've got all their members and proceeded to strike out their clutch hitter who never misses. And also, they couldn't get a handle on anything that he was doing. They couldn't see the speed of his ball. So instead of getting down on themselves, they all uh, went out to record themselves, do some training, figure out what their strengths and weaknesses are so they could continue forward and revive the, uh, the dragons, the nine dragons, and make it to the finals. Let's go ahead and start. This is chapter 16. Uh, just a continuation. You're going to learn the team members as we go through here. Everybody has a specific spot, but it's more of a slice of life manga as well as a sports manga. Let's dive in. And hopefully, you know how to read these. You read these instead of left to right, right to left. So the very top right corner is where you start, and you'll go from there. It's backwards. Uh, if you have any trouble, uh, we might have a how to read manga course and how to ingest anime course. Uh, but go ahead and start, and let's get into it.
I just want to jump in real quick and was like, I love the artwork, especially in sports manga because it's based around real life. But this is one of the reasons that I am creating and writing my own manga right now. It's just, just look at the look at the characters, look at the expressions, and look at the background. Amazing. Look at the backs. They got the suits on. Oh, they're matching. They're actually a fucking team right now. Look at this. They are heading in against this other team. Ah, beautiful. Any team that's got a solid seven players and you pick up three and start the season late and you're laughing and joking in the box, bro, that's it right there. That's like watching the Z Fighters or the Straw Hats or the Ninja or Shinigami play baseball. It's fucking beautiful. Fun fact for you guys out there didn't know, uh, I played baseball, and then my grandpa loves baseball, so we used to walk down to the fairgrounds and play the diamonds all the time. That's why I love the sport today. Ninety-four, ninety-four miles. But this is—I think this is the first time we've actually seen how fast these pitches are, bro. They about to blow them out the water.
Amazing, amazing. Thank you, Giovanni Brooks, for following. Thank you so much. I just saw that I got invested into Nine Dragons. That shit is fucking amazing. So everybody that's out there following, uh, subscribing, watching right now, I thank you guys so fucking much. Um, let's get into the next one. Uh, let's just go with the one that's on the page. I tell C. Now, this one's a little bit weird. Um, let me go ahead and boot myself off the screen here. So if you see these two right here, the one on the left with the white hair is, uh, I, I think they're both twins, but I think he's the older one. And the one on the right with the blue hair is a younger brother. One uses their brain, which would be the one on the left. The one that uses their brawn is always pumping iron and very muscular and wants to use brute force is the one that's on the right. And the little girl behind, Ayo, is a girl that falls in love with every criminal, but her obsession with love and loving them for their demented ways leads to them catching the criminal. Now, this point in the story, which is, it's, it's a very, very unique story. Uh, the brother on the left, he is dead right now. So all we have is Ayo and Saikon on the right who have overcome their differences and are now working to protect each other because they were a trio and they were a team at the time when his brother died. Now Io is shunned at the police station. They don't like her because of her obsessive ways and how she falls in love with criminals, but it's based off a past trauma. So instead of treating her like a person, they treat her as a tool. And so if she gets in trouble, if she dies, so be it. She served her purpose. Saikon uh, wants to be friends, wants to help her, wants to keep her safe. And so that's where we are in the story now. We're 18 chapters in. Uh, let's get into it. We just caught the Phantom Thief Mar, so we might be wrapping that up. Yep. Now, so what's happened so far? Mar had, um, what would you call it? Kind of challenged the police, kind of like the Joker would. Told him where her next caper was going to be. Challenged him to find her. She publishes her videos on the dark web. And Io did her research, and Io was just breaking down how she caught her. She, from her very first caper, she started communicating and following her on the dark web. She created a web, uh, a persona. She contacted other followers of Phantom Thief Mar. And you learn that through all of her actions from the very beginning, she had already figured out a way to capture her. Um, she even arranged her helicopter flight to her, but she knows the reason why she is stealing is because of her father. So this is the big reveal for this case, which I think at this point, uh, after the time skip, this is our second case. So let's get into it. Straight facts, like looking at the eyes, the bridge of the nose, and the ears or earlobes, that's a straight giveaway. They use that fact to say that that's why Batman can mask himself, because his mask covers up the cheekbones, the bridge of the nose, the eyes, all that shit.
Now, what I forgot to say is her love for these criminals. She wants to find out the reason why they are the way they are and heal them through being there for them and accepting them for who they are. So it's, it's a very unique concept. That's why you're seeing this conversation play out the way it is right now. the first time that I, I was watching Yu Yu show and I recorded on VHS and then I paused it and was drawing the eyes and I realized how different the eyes were from Dragon Ball Z and how immersive and the emotions were during that very first rando arc but just looking at the hair the shading the eyes the clothing how you know the dark areas really attract you even the dad's mustache amazing Oh, no, you didn't hear what your grandpa said. Your grandpa said he doesn't love your dad. He doesn't love anything but his art. coming look at the horror and shock in her eyes that's fucked up
if she loves her, which I know Io does, she has the painting for him. amazing manga so this is the end of chapter I tell C um, I love it golly dude we're just finding out so much now about uh, Phantom Thief Mara and her relationship why she was going after those paintings which makes sense because she hates her grandfather uh, let's jump and hop on over to the elusive samurai so the elusive samurai is um is a manga about a boy who is the very last survivor of his family his clan uh his dad's most trusted guard killed everybody and overthrew him for the emperor and is trying to invade the rest of his territory this uh, last remaining son is staying in a temple under the guise of a temple um boy like learning his way but learning um how to be the king he needs to be to take back his land and also figuring out uh, where and how to put to together a proper ensemble of um, uh, what do you call them? Shit. Like his numbers or like his generals like that. He's trying to find generals right now. Uh, right now, I think he's got three fighters. He's He's got a guy that can fight with two swords who's an amazing strategist, but eats all the time. Uh, he's got a thief that works for money. He's got two sword fighters. And then also a another girl that is a... She does medicine and some other stuff. But so, so far, he's proven that he overcomes his fear. And his... Fear also drives him to be the elusive warrior. He can retreat out of any situation, but he's trying to learn how to fight. So he's got his brand new um, general teaching him moves that only he can use as uh, a retreater. Every time he tries to strike an attack, he gets tired, he gets winded. That's not what he's good at, but he finds it thrilling to evade and run from dangerous situations. So let's dive into the elusive samurai. Oh yeah, I forgot to say. Now he's this general that he's getting has been protecting this village because there have been small troops coming in to try to kill these people, and the only people that are left are children. So now um, he has asked his brand new king if they would stay and fight, or if they're going to leave and let them take that land. If they do, it's more territory they get, and it gives them a, an advantage over the Sua territory where they're staying right now. So now they are fighting this group of mercenaries and bandits. Well, these bandits gave fallen samurai, you know, a chance to do something else, but it kind of brainwashed them. So now those are ronin that are just doing anything, killing women, children, raping, all that shit. So far, they have hit them with an arrow attack from behind and made them go towards the village. So they're going to go into the rest of their traps.
the one thing I love about this manga is they really go into strategy and techniques used uh, from different vantage points, like on horseback and then uh, arrows versus swords and then hunting games and what that actually proved as far as if uh, how nobles won or if they didn't. Uh, it's, it's just a really interesting. You guys should pick this one up. There we go. Those are the two general swordsmen right there. The one that was just talking, Fubuki, is the new general that has devised this whole strategy. And again, these are kids now. So they're already this well-defined. They're only going to get stronger. They're going to keep learning. This is, this is going to be a really good one.
There's old Princey Prince waiting for him. Mm, and his eyes look cold. He means business. So the elusive samurai, they are finally started their their defense so far. They've taken out most of the army except for these four, like the general and his top three. So uh, we're about to see what he can do. So next uh, chapter, I'll see when the next chapter drops. We'll do the same thing and we'll see if uh, he takes them out and what happens. What's the next one we're going to look at? We've already gone through the elusive samurai. Ooh, okay. We're going to save Black Clover. We're going to save Jujutsu Kaisen. We're going to save One Piece. So let's head to Undead Unluck. Now, Undead Unluck it was the manga of the month last month. And it tells the story of a guy that can't die who is Andy, which you can see right there with the white hair and the card in his head. And then you have Unluck, bam, right next to him. And they are a duo that were fighting for their life every single chapter until they join the group that is trying to defeat God because God is a sadistic fuck who has doomed the world. And every time that they uh, catch a penalty, it adds something to this universe. So the universe had like maybe one group of people. They got a penalty. Now it divides people into different races or different species. They get another penalty. Now, instead of just one planet, there is a galaxy full of planets. Or now there's spring and autumn and summer. So they were fighting for autumn, I think. And now we're coming to the conclusion of that fight. Because they are trying to stop the 101st penalty. Because that will end the world. So yeah, um, and the people that are known as Un, like Andy is undead, she's unlucked, they're negators. They have special powers that allow them to remember the entire history of the world, no matter what penalties happen. It wipes the mind of everybody, so that way people don't go crazy. But they also have the ability to undo something based on something that's happened in their life. So let's get into it. Last chapter, we had the previous negator, which is this uh, monk with the hat on. Uh, he just now died, but he also took a bead from his master, gave it to his apprentice, and really somebody that he protected. It was his best friend. Um, so that way she could control his body and unlock his full pow power so he could finally kill his master because that's been his lifelong mission to get stronger and kill his master. Now, this character was amazing and fun to me because he was Goku. He uh, had everything from uh, he had the Nimbus. He had a power pole, which I think they're still using it in this battle. Um, and then he was a, a, the strongest martial artist. But we find out that Mai is... Um, a princess is now the strongest martial artist and she has untruth which is an eye negation uh, that can stop somebody from moving based off certain principles hers are different from his because he could use it as long as he could see the person that he needed to protect or he loved so now we're here on the final the final conclusion is he going to be able to kill his master um, and it, uh, that is the truth I love the explosion, the power, the, it feels just like a really solid comic.
Now, this is one of the requests on their list. They have a like, I think like eight or nine objectives is to keep summer from happening because there's no summer, there's no seasons in this world. So this beast in the back is summer and they're trying to stop it. So that's where the conclusion of this fight is headed. That, that voice you're seeing in that little box on his hip, that is God's book, Apocalypse. And Apocalypse is the one that brings a mission and kind of communicates for God the penalties and all the information. So he's speaking to him now, so we're, we're finding out what's going on. See, there's Nimbus right there in the corner.
so as you can see each one of the name implies what their negation is so undead he can negate death so he never dies unluck can negate luck so if you touch her you have bad luck most likely something will fall and kill you or crush you or you'll die horribly unstoppable the one that's running or unstoppable yeah the one that's running he moves fast he negates moving slow unmove uh, keeps people from moving untouchable can't touch people because they'll blow up or I think she's radioactive untruth uh, it has now evolved to telling people's truth and making them move or do the opposite of what they didn't want to do so this is undead unluck the, a lot of the first chapters go into more explanation about some of the stuff you're reading I know it can be a little confusing but it's a really really solid action manga with a very good story and a world created I mean, it's, it's, it's one of the freshest ones I've seen in a while. All right, what else do we have? Okay, let's get into it. Uh, we'll do Jujutsu Kaisen 151 and Black Clover 295, and we'll end it with One Piece uh, 1015. So, Jujutsu Kaisen, uh, they're all about the games right now. There's getting ready to be a curse games curse challenge um that's really the, the rules make it to where you have to kill people and the more people you kill the more you lead the world in the direction that they want which is to make everybody a curse user and then i think get rid of them or get rid of the ones that do, do become curse users it's, it's trying to make everybody curse users i do believe to rid some kind of factor uh, the only thing that I'm really sure of right now, which I'm going to reread this, is uh, Maki has just lost her sister Mai, and they were twins, so that's why one couldn't see cursed energy and had to use cursed tools, which was Maki, and she was low as fuck. And then Mai could, but she wasn't strong, and she didn't have her sister's um, athleticism because they were one, uh, 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 two pieces of a whole. And so now that she died, she took over her body. Or not even took over her body, but absorbed the curse energy from her. And they're doing a callback to Toji. Uh, isn't the name Toji? Who is uh, uh, Megumi's dad? They are um, uh, putting her in the same basket as him because he was... He didn't have any ability, but yet he was, he was super strong. And he kind of got disowned and left the family because of the pretentiousness that goes with having cursed energy. Um, hang on, let me see. Uh, 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 uh. Yep, Toji. I had to make sure Toji, Fushiguri, and that's why Megumi is Fushiguri and Maki. Those are the three that are kind of looked upon as the same now Megumi is the leader and he's handed over to Maki because she deserves it and so she went in got her power killed her dad and has uh, got this sword now the same sword that his dad used which kind of improved his power and ability but I mean just watch this just read it's a uh, very good artwork a lot of blood and death this is going to be a good fight um, and it all makes sense whenever you look at it. So I'm excited about this. For those of you that didn't know this is Megumi's dad, he does not look pitiful at fucking all. He hates his motherfucking family. And because of it, it drove him to the heights of this motherfucker here. He is the next Uchiha right here. Toji.
if you haven't seen Maki in a while, she got burned. She got blown up and shit. So this is how she looks. But look at her counting while she vlogs. Look now. This has the feel of Naruto battles, bro. Like going to other dimensions, going through walls and shit, but still the epicness and the 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 background, especially of Dragon Ball Z. And I, I I'd say more on the side of Bleach Naruto, but keep keep watching. This this is looking real good. Bro, she is still counting and looking down on you, bro. Gorgeous. Jujutsu Kaisan Bro, you see said let me embrace you with a smile of sickness on. Ugh, this is so nasty.
see i like his frame type curse that is that's smart i like that She, she already knows what's going on. She's already past thinking what you're thinking, bro. That's who Maki is. that bad since Luffy hit Bellamy both times. This is Jujutsu Kaisen. I can't stress enough. This was a beautiful chapter. I love the artwork. You had another person in her family, which so far she's killed on. She's taken out the whole clan, not only for her brother, for, but for Toji, for Megumi, for everybody that's been an outcast of this damn family. And she is trying to get the curse items they need so they could try to win the, these games that are coming up. This is a great chapter. Um, Black Clover, we had Magna versus, oh, that's beautiful right there. We had Magna versus Dante, who came in clutch with a win. Then we had Sai Saitha coming in because Dante's body, his regeneration, couldn't keep up. He was depleted of his mana. It was all fucking up, and he was becoming this blob monster, so he cut him down because he told him not to ruin uh, Magna's um, his victory because Luck finally sees Magna as a worthy adversary and wants to fight him later on um, and go up against his technique and then Asa is just in awe of Magna even though he's respected him this whole time so now we're moving on to our next battles we saw the Doctor that's got his top tier devil with him now that Dante's gone and his devils are gone uh, and the top tier devils that Asa fought are dead. The the tunnel that's opening up to the demon world is uh, kind of closed down. There's still it still can be open, and we have Yami and Vengeance or Vengeance uh, trapped and being used, but it is now slowed down uh, more so than what they thought. Uh, I think we're getting into the fight with Noel now. And uh, old Captain Light, Mr. Raiden himself from the Heart Kingdom, Gar Gar Garjola, Gardoljola, some shit like that. But let's get into it. Let's not wait any longer. Oh yeah, that's right. Charlotte activated her Sage mode, but she got pinned up. Uh, and I think her mana is kind of running a little bit low. Uh, but remember, our Devil, the Dark Triad, have their Devils at 100% right now. Oh yeah, that's right. Queen Lolo Pic uh, Picture uh, is fucked up too. She is being used as a doll. Lolo.
that's a beautiful shot. Knew it. We got our Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura. Noel is fucking doing its spirit drive just like Una. Una and Asa's got his devil unification. Saint Valkyrie armor. Fucking amazing. That is fucking. That's dope. Okay, so Black Clover wraps up. Noelle is fighting. It looks like she powered up again. We know what happened. They had the conversation. They're both bonding. Uh, Undine, Undine is partnering with Noelle to, to save Queen Lolo and get her back because they're, they're friends. They love her. And Noelle's also doing this for her mom, too, that was taken out uh, by old uh, Triple OG Dark Triad Bitch. Uh, the very last one we're getting into is One Piece chapter 1015. That's 1015. Luffy learned how to infuse his conqueror's hockey um, while fighting Kaido, but Kaido knocked him off the island into the ocean, and he has been sinking and told him it wasn't enough, and he won't be the one to usher in Joe Boy. And I don't want to fuck this up and get this wrong. So what we're going to do... Fucking, we're gonna go back real quick because I want to look at this because I know there's been the people were people are getting these chapters early and then the the translations and scan on them are bullshit. They're not translating correctly and stupid. So I want to go back and hit this because this is important what he says because we talk about uh, Joe Boy and the the will of D and all that other stuff and it is something very big. That has been mentioned time and time again within this series. So as you can see, this is a uh, thousand and fourteen, and Luffy's in the ocean. But there we go. He said, "So you infuse yourself with the color of the Supreme King, uh, but your use of it uh, was crude and clumsy." Oops. Shit! What the hell's going on with my phone? Hang on. And says, uh, Gum Gum, what was it? Roar, roar, roar. He's doing his stupid laugh. And then you couldn't be Joe Boy either, it seems. Uh, and now he told them to announce the results of the, of the battle to everybody. So let's go ahead and head back over to chapter um, 10 15 of One Piece and dive in. Checking to see if we're still live. I don't think we're still live on Facebook, though. Maybe. Okay, well, that's, that's fine.
this is what we're gonna do. All right, so this is started over. We're gonna pause for the cause and then I'm gonna come back and we'll finish up with one piece. I'll be right back. 